Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The market is roaring, of course, on horrible market news. Ooh. And Reverend Jesse Jackson makes a stop in L.A. on the Trayvon Martin case. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. live streaming a previous event at the moment and this is the piece of equipment that we're going where the, the uh what do they do that thing it's the in-between section and yeah. if it shuts off which it does every couple of minutes you lose the stream so i sit there and have to push the button you know it's a touch screen so it's just a converter it, right and files for unemployment up and the market is roaring oh yeah they said it said it, it said it uh it, it hasn't been this high since last year and uh, that means there's a slowdown in the economy. So the fact there's a slowdown in the economy, therefore, means that the market should rise on all the unhappy news. Hmm. And as predicted, the president is going to try to win on a minority vote. I know. I, I wrote this thing uh, uh, last year. We did talk about that last year, didn't oh, we? Oh, we've talked about it. I wrote a, an article about it. And, oh, yes, I do write news to folks. I got lots of articles of 29 last year out of 52. Actually, not even two weeks. But um, we explained how basically he knows he can't take. He he he, he takes the far left. He takes a he takes the he takes the minority vote, and he wins because everybody but uh, Republicans understand there's going to be an independent candidate out there running. It's either going to be Ron. It's going to either be Johnson, the uh, former governor of uh, you know the mining air in Utah, or or Ron Paul. One of them is going to run. They're going to take. They're going to get the most votes ever by an independent candidate because the Republican right is not going to vote for um, Romney. It just isn't going to happen. Well, he's getting ready. He's, he's moving to the middle. He's moving to the middle, says uh, you to everybody on the right because I need the Latino vote, so I'm going to say screw all of you. I don't give a damn about whether they're here illegal because they're going to vote for me if I support letting them all stay in the country. So guess what that did with all of the right vote yesterday? The right vote went... And he lost them. Totally. And, and liberals are fighting the losing battle on voter ID laws. Oh yeah, the uh, uh, okay. Basically, when the only Latino on the council on the Supreme Court, Sotomayor, is is basically, you know, is this? She's, the question is repeatedly: Is this law dealing with um, racial profiling? And she said, "Well, it's it, 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 it legal law deal. Well, it can lead with it." And then she got angry. I would like an answer specifically. Does this law deal with what you said it does, racial profiling? It says, well, no, it doesn't deal with racial profiling. And she said, then what are we doing here? Mm -hmm. Basically, they had nothing. The Supreme Court, uh, basically, it was the Solicitor General for the second time in three weeks, basically being leveled by a court that's friendly to him. You know, the left basically, once again, was not happy with this man. You know, like was it Justice Breyer said, you know, it would help if you actually had researched the case before you came before us once again. Mm -hmm. When they used the word once again, they said there were eight judges because one of them, one of Obama's people, just like Sotomayor, worked on the immigration thing and has no business, to make, but they had to have it eight to four and four to make it look real. But um, they're really pissed off at the Obama administration for sending people before them that haven't done their homework. And rural kids and parents angry about Labor Department rule banning farm chores. Okay, we'll put it this way. Pushing this thing to make certain, the converter to make certain that uh, your uplink is still working would be a violation of the new terms by the Obama administration. Using a screwdriver, electronic screwdriver, milking a cow, being within six foot of a tractor. I mean, these are the things that the Obama administration is preparing to rule that are illegal for people that works on family farms to do now. Our, okay, not a spring, I, I worked on a family farm because we had a truck farm in Culver City when I was little. Not a spring shake work at a grocery store. It would prohibit her from doing counter work, any work by electronics, any mm -hmm. work or anything that's above a certain level on her body. And, uh, and you know, it also, for farmers, it prevents you from feeding your own pets. That oh, country. that's ridiculous. Yeah, it, pre it would prevent I it. mean... Okay, my sisters used to have... Okay, when I was growing up, we had a bull that my sisters used to call Spot. And they'd say, here, Spot, here, Spot. And the great I big, mean, awful bull would come, and he'd scoot on his butt to stop what was getting here. 
if the letting the letting them anywhere near the bull would be considered a criminal offense. So that's horrible. That's Obama. They said that he, uh, the FCIU and the and the unions are behind this stuff once again. They want to unionize family farms. Hmm. Think that happen? In state put in Arizona after the anti-immigration bill. Well, yeah, you know, the people that never made waves. If you didn't go out and pick it and stuff, they don't. Okay. They're not stopping people because they're Latin. They're stopping people. Okay, if you break the law, it says that's what they said yesterday. In other words, in Latin, if you don't break, if you don't violate any laws, you never get stopped. And they said, well, the majority of people never run stoplights. They don't speed. They don't rob banks. So therefore, they don't get stopped. If you're stopped, your Supreme Court has already said you have a you have a legal right as a police officer to ask for identification if you are stopped for a crime. Mm. So therefore, you know, you're, they're, the government is screwed. And if you don't, so like a, most of the gay people in this nation are really pissed off at the people that are causing all the ruckus because most of the gay people lived happy lives and nobody gave a damn. Now they've made it, uh, made it like a battleground. And it, the Latinos don't want it, the gay people don't like it, so it, it's the left though. And Gingrich loses big. Says he'll look realistically at the future. I'm going to have to try to explain something to Bill O'Reilly and some of the other people about this losing big. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, Tuesday, Romney didn't have anybody running against him. Romney did a five-state sweep. The, no money was put into any campaigns for Tuesday. Lost. Yeah. The news would have been on Tuesday, Romney loses a state where he had no opposition. Okay, so he nobody lost big because nobody was running. And housing problems all over. Oh yeah, they uh, said this morning, even though Tuesday they said housing, um, the housing sales were at a 10-year low and that they re-advised everything clean back to in the last quarter backwards to hit be a 4.7% drop, not compared to last year, but a 4.7 drop period. And uh, today they're talking about, well, housing sales are at a record pace. We're never been, we have not been building and selling houses much greater than we have this year. Um, no. Uh, Wednesday was a 4.7 drop, the worst in 10 years. They reset, the housing problem is continuing and getting worse. So today the Obama administration probably announces that we're selling, we're mortgages are going at a record rate. And fallen China politician son defends himself. Yeah, that's, that never got to work. Why do you say that? Well, because you can't defend yourself. Oh, and NASA's new quake monitoring network uses GPS. That's some, okay. Uh, see this little toy, folks? It's got a GPS system in it. The camera just didn't work. I really know, well. it does. You got GPS and everything. They follow you every god off of where you go in this world now. And Tea Party candidate aims to offend Utah Senate race. Oh, yeah, because, um, let's see, um, Orrin Hatch in the primaries uh, Tuesday did not get enough votes, so now he's got to have a runoff with a Tea Party person. Orrin Hatch? Orrin Hatch because he's simply, they said he's too willing to compromise on um, all of the issues. He, basically, he's voted, to, he's voted continually to spend money and to raise the debt when they keep telling him, it's a conservative state, Utah, they keep saying, don't it spend is. money, so he votes to spend money. But he's doing it for the good of the nation. I told him, you weren't elected to represent the nation. You were elected, elected to represent this Utah. This is the one thing that most people don't understand. Okay, when you're elected to office, you're elected to represent your district or your state. You're not elected to represent the other guy's district or the other guy's state. They forget that? They forget that. They were politicking. And Obama honors Alabama's Crimson Tide and jokes, he'll need a gift helmet. What in the world is that? What's a gift helmet? Uh, well, because he can't, uh, he can't, he asked them to gift him a helmet for less than a hundred dollars. That's the only way he can keep get a helmet. Well, he can't keep it if it's more than a hundred dollars? He can't keep it if it's more than a hundred dollars. It cannot be, it cannot be anything other than a gift to the president. And if it's less than a hundred dollars, he gets to keep it. If it's more than a hundred dollars, it goes to the Smithsonian. Oh, So basically he was telling him I wanted, I, you know, what, what, if you, one of you guys gives me a helmet that's worth less than $100, then I can keep it myself. 
Yeah, but it's like I know the president has had watches given to him and he has to by the Secret back. Service that he wears. He has to give them back at the end of his presidency. Oh, that's like that movie with Kevin Costner, huh? Yes, it's like the, when the president of Mexico gave Ronald Reagan a beautiful Palomino. Ronald Reagan had to donate it to the um, to the United States because he couldn't keep the horse once he was no longer president. But while he's president, he can enjoy he it. He can enjoy it, yep. And Tupac hologram and questions over raising the dead. Oh yeah. What in the world? Okay. The problem is, is that people today, that I see no reason why, like for instance, an actor like um, uh, Burt Lancaster can't work forever because they can take the stuff he's done, make whole new movies out of what he's done. I mean, really? Remember John the Wayne in commercials and stuff. John Wayne made whole made commercials years after he was dead because they took pieces that he'd already did. Uh, substituted, um, you know, the words here, words there, and they did a whole uh, 60 minute, 60 second commercial. Uh, they can be done. Is that why they're doing, like, um, the singers have done that where they sing with their parents? They sing right? with their parents, and you can do this because we're sophisticated enough. You can take a dead person and make that dead person part of a movie or television show now. Because then most of the people, cool, though. okay, if, if you say enough, still, uh, there's only A E I O U. Once you get beyond A E I O U, you, you know, you basically can sit there and plug syllables in and computerize, com you know, have the guy, he could do, uh, Tupac could probably do uh, a soliloquy from Shakespeare because he said enough things in his life. Oh, and six-year-old allegedly locked in jail cell as part of a school field trip? What in the world is that? Probably normal. My father used to lock it is in a jail cell. Oh, actually, you know what? But part of it is that they go to a jail, yeah. right? Oh, I, I know and it's they, probably not one six-year-old. It's I, like, I, go in there, this is what it feels like in a jail cell. I, I, would, I would guarantee you, this you probably is still going on to date. When my brother and I were very young and my father had to watch us and he was on duty, he would take us and put us in a holding cell. Well, I know, it says allegedly. Yeah, they, I We weren't sure. allegedly, we were taking and put in a holding cell and everybody would, you know, you know what did you do, sick cat? And I, I, I was smart ass. said I killed my mother and they said, good for you. <laughs> oh, are you supposed to make it something you did? Oh, uh, no, it's just they're being smart asses in the other cells, so you smart off back to them. Oh, were there really people in the other cells? Yeah, we were put in holding cells because my father wanted to make certain we didn't run around the police station. Uh, <laughs> my brother is in a holding cell. <laughs> well, the problem is that other officers, hey, you know, you, you see a real police revolver up close and in here. You know, that my father didn't like that, and so... Uh-huh. Oh, that's why he was trying to protect you from them. Yeah, from the other officers. Yeah. Because they would, oh, have you have you seen the riot guns that we have lately? <laughs> uh, I, oh, don't drink the beer that we got under the table because we're not supposed to have any. <laughs> <laughs> he lit a very big light. And Afghanistan and the U.S. agree on strategic pact text. Yeah, which means they're, we're getting, yeah, it means the Taliban is getting ready to take over the country. So, did you ever turn to the, the, the... Yeah, and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> you know, sometimes they all just get very tired. <laughs>